Hey guys, this video is about measuring unknowns in a nice little open source program called ImageJ. First thing you're going to want to do is type in Fiji ImageJ into Google. Fiji is a build of ImageJ that includes a lot of extra add-ons. Uh, but if you just want the plain old, plain old version, you can look up ImageJ as well. Okay, so click on the version that you want. I'm using Windows 64 version. And you are going to need to unzip the file. So you can use 7-zip or whatever you want to decompress the folder that you download. You can see here, once you've uh, unzipped the folder, you can just click right on the image J application and that will bring up this little toolbar and you can get right to work. So I am gonna go in and bring up the image that I wanna start off with. I uh, didn't bring my ruler with me on my hike. Uh, so I grabbed this piece of wood from the site and used it as a reference for my pictures. And now you can see I've got it in my garage next to a ruler and I'm just gonna take a centimeter segment there. And we're gonna click on adjustments and set scale. So I'm just putting one centimeter in there and now the, the program knows that the pixels there equal one centimeter. And now I can go in and I can measure this piece of wood and it will give me a nice little estimate. And you can see there, we've got the length and what I am going to do is now bring up my image in the field there. We're going to go ahead and rotate it, transform there. And I can set the scale again using the piece of wood. Okay, so go down to set scale. And I'm going to use the measurement that I picked up from the previous image and set that to centimeters, click OK. And now I've calibrated this image. And I can go ahead and measure the width of that cement slab. There we go. Now I have a third image that I would like to use. This is the Google Maps image from above. Google Maps does have a tool for measuring length, uh, but you won't always have that luxury. So I'm just using this as an example so that we can get an idea of the object in the field. And so I'm gonna set the scale one more time using that last measurement. And now we can measure the length. Got 17 meters thing, over 17 meters. And then we can measure other things as well. We can measure the width of the pad that the tool house would have been on. We can measure the width of the pad that the tower with the light on top would have uh, what is and measure the sides of the arrowhead so this allows you to find a precise measurement when you don't necessarily have a measuring tape or anything like that with you in the field.